Appropriate length. In this part, I am going to discuss a few things that are important to consider when you make this type of video tutorials. The first one is to consider the student's learning experience. The students that we have today are very savvy media consumers, and they have been exposed to a lot of content that moves fairly quickly, and it's very well designed and it has a lot of changes. So one of the things that happens when you create a very long lecture via a screen capturing technology is that your students will start getting distracted as you move forward and their level of performance is going to decrease as time passes by. So if you make a very long tutorial, chances are your students will start drifting away as they're watching it. This is not always the case. Um, some of my tutorials are about an hour long and I am not really expecting the student to go through the entire hour in one sitting, but there are many different individual tasks that they need to accomplish. And because the videos can be navigated quickly through the interactive table of contents, the students are able to move from one section to the other, even if they are doing it at different times. There are other instances in which I have very short tutorials and those tutorials are meant to keep the attention of the students and then we jump onto something else where the students can change activity and keep their engagement high and at that level we will have another drop down like this that would also signal that we have to change activities once more probably you have heard about these as chunking content or how to do content in smaller segments so you can keep the attention of your students throughout the entire class period. This also takes place when you do this type of screen recordings and it is up to you to think about it and think what would be the appropriate length for your purposes and for the type of things that you want to create. One of the things that I would like to recommend is to always aim for very small tutorials because that will create by itself a lot of little modules that later on you can establish in a sequence or you can change the order of them. So I recommend smaller segments but it depends once again on what it is specifically that you're trying to accomplish.